What's up guys, thanks for clicking on the video and welcome back to another episode of Bushcraft with L. As you can see behind guys, we've got the open top set up tonight. We're doing an overnight, the temperature is supposed to get down to about minus four, minus five in the night, so it's going to be a true test of skill today. Um, I plan on scraping a bit of the moss off in front of me here and getting a little fire pit going um, where I can practice some of my bow drill skills that I learnt last week from Neil. I'm currently back out at Cheddington Forest Wilderness Camp, guys. I came down with two of my friends, Tom and Sophie. The plan is today, as you can see, I've secluded myself a little bit from the group as I want Tom and Sophie to really take it all in here, guys, like me and Joel did on the last video, if you watched it. If you haven't, go back and watch that video, guys. It's an awesome video. So, yeah, as I said, I want Tom and Sophie to learn a lot of stuff from Neil today and I want them to take that whole experience in, should I say. Um, and yeah, I thought I'd come down here instead of getting in the way, practice the stuff that Neil taught me last week and see if I can do it without anybody there and, you know, obviously putting it into practice on my own, which eventually, that's the plan, isn't it, you know, wilderness living, trying to, uh, self-reliance, basically, trying to do things while you're out on your own and survive, whatnot. So yeah, guys, the plan now is to... I think I'm going to clear up the fire pit next, to be honest. Clear up a bit of the fire pit. So, when I do go and get all of my tinder and stuff that I need and make a bird's nest in about 10 minutes, I can come back, put it straight down onto the floor and hopefully get a fire going straight away. I'd also like to take a few minutes to throw this out there, guys. The last video that I did here with me, Joel and Neil, um, winter weekend day in a bushcraft mega camp uh, veteran teaches fire by friction is currently on 27,000 views guys that is amazing I've never put a video up on YouTube that's got that type of traction before and that amount of traffic coming through so again I would like to say a massive thank you to everybody that showed the support on that channel through Instagram Facebook YouTube everybody guys I really do appreciate all the comments and all of the likes it's amazing. I think off that video alone, I made about 180 subscribers, and that's only right now. Like since I looked this morning, the views have gone up like by another 500, and the subscribers by like another 10. So, as I said, it's currently still growing, guys. And I wanted to get another video up there on the channel, so I can keep the ball rolling now, hopefully. And hopefully, it's just going to have a snowball effect and tap me over a thousand subscribers. <laughs> it took us a little bit longer than a year, guys, but probably a month over the goal. I reckon by next week we should hit a thousand subscribers. Where I'm planning to do a giveaway. I've got big plans for the channel, and that video is what I needed to just give me a boost, basically, a kick up the butt. Same as last week, look for some honeysuckle and some dry sage, make a bird's nest, let's go. Let's get it, Woo We're coming across all of the dead sage. You wanna grab all of the brown stuff from the bottom I'm going to try and get as much as I can because everything is absolutely soaking wet here so touch wood literally I'm trying to chuck away the, the soaking wet bits I've got the dry bits at the top Exactly the same as last week, guys. If you watch the video, this one is called Clematis, I believe. And this makes for, you know, a good addition to the bird's nest. So I'm gonna spend about 10 minutes here, pick off some of this, a good 10, 20 minutes, and move on, try and find some honeysuckle which Neil refers to as the Holy Grail. So. Let's 
So, over here, I found some honeysuckle. So, I'm gonna really, in fact, I'm gonna keep the honeysuckle separate from everything else because as Neil taught me last week, this is what's gonna sit on the ember because it's packed full of resin and that's what's gonna really give me that fire, you know, get the ember going. Trying not to snap it, but just bend it so it gives, you know. This second got back, I'm gonna take out all of the stuff. In fact, I'm gonna put it over here where there's no moss, so I can go in what, I'm, what I've collected. To be honest, I should have kept everything in separate pockets, but I was very limited, so I just for everything in one bag. I want to take about 10 minutes now to just simply separate all of the different stuff that I've got. Keep it all separate. Could do with something to put it on to be honest. Yeah, I might put some on my on the other side just to keep it off the floor so it's not wet. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's give this baby. There we go. Yep. Slack seems fine on there. Okay, so that ember never went, guys. Went out. Let's try it again. Try and keep this off the ground.
second one under here guys is just throw some birch bark. Over here, <coughs> guys, we've got Tom set up. This is my friend Tom. Say hello, Tom. Hi, guys. Yeah, Tom's gone for the same sort of setup as me. Open top, got his mattress on under there, and his Swedish military blanket. And that's Sophie, guys. Sophie, say hello. Hey! <laughs> Not going to get the fire blazing too much. Because in about half an hour, we're going to go back up to the main shelter, which you've seen on the last video, and cook up our proper food. I'm going to put some water on there and just enjoy a quick pot noodle until dinner time, or tea time, should I say. <sighs> Guys, 80 subscribers off a Kai, man. It's crazy. It is crazy. When I look back at all the videos and all the graft and hard work that I've put into, you know, getting the channel up and running, it's great to just look back, watch all the old videos and finally see a bit of traction on the channel, as I was telling you earlier. as hard as you can because that will that will make it go for you. It's too hot, move your hand away. Yeah. There you go, well done. <sighs> well done, mate. Yep. Yeah. Sure. I'll just read that next. That's alright, that's alright. Let's put what I collect. a good night he went back up to camp just as you could see Tom and Sophie were practicing their uh, ball draw techniques we've come back down to the tops now and uh, we've all sort of teamed up and got the fires going on all three of our shelters well in fact Tom played a big part in it because he got his fire going first and just transported all of the uh, you know the fires around so yeah guys it's about half past 12 I want to put a few big logs on that I've got down here and uh, hit the sack I think get up early in the morning about half past seven seven o'clock and hopefully go and travel the woods and practice some new skills man 
again guys if you didn't hear me earlier thanks for the support on the last video man it's been crazy I've made like 180 new subscribers so each and every one of you guys that are new to the channel I just want to say a massive thank you I will be doing a giveaway on a thousand subscribers probably not straight away give me a chance to order some stuff in you know but um, I'll keep you guys updated and let you know what's happening so you guys man I'll check back in in the morning good night Oh, right guys, we've just been out for a walk, it's about two hours long, it was a good walk man, parts of the forest that we haven't been to yet, found some cool stuff, uh, found some large fallen cedar trees and made some rope and those, I didn't take the camera on the walk with me because it's quite a jaunt to be honest, I had just my walking stick, didn't want to like, you know, overcome by myself with too much gear. I needed to stay light. So yeah. It was a good uh, it's a good walk. It's about one o'clock now, I think. Just packing up our gear in a moment and heading off. We've got about a three hour drive home. It's been a good weekend. As always when we come down here, it's always a good weekend. I think we're coming back down on the first to give Neil a chuck to help him out for the day a few things that he needs doing around the camp so maybe that'll be a day we come just do a bit of bushcraft we'll see if we do a video or not so yeah guys again thank you for all the subscribers thanks for all the likes and all of the support thanks for watching peace